All right, guys, so we did a couple time-lapse videos there. I'm going to walk away from the truck so it's not too loud. Uh, so I started at 1020. It is 1037 right now. So we've been out here 17 minutes now. This side of the building is going to be the one that's the most aggravating because we have the electrical box here. And, guys, it doesn't look like a really good one. <laughs> and uh, we've got the air unit over there. So we're just being really cautious around those electrical uh a lot of times on your kind of new construction homes, stuff that's been built in the last 20 years. And this church, check it out, established 1850. 1850. So at some point, they've come out here and, you know, obviously put siding on it and took care of it and stuff like that. But it's just an old building. And the electrical and the plumbing and stuff like the spigot I'm connected to over here, it's really flimsy. So be, be very careful when you're working on some of these older buildings. Uh, they're usually not as as well maintained as uh, like somebody's house, you know, like a, a 10 year old house in a subdivision is going to be in fairly good shape. But see like this stuff here, it's just kind of flimsy. So be careful around that. Be careful around the electrical, man. I'm telling you, you'll have a really fun day, but less than 20 minutes and we're basically done with this side. And that included putting the coat on the roof. Uh, so we're, we're rinsing off the final sections here. And uh, we're going to use this church for a couple of our training days, so we're not going to do the whole thing today. Uh, I try to when I get a good one on the books. I'll milk it for several training classes so we can bring guys out here and let them see the in the field portion uh, of the training. So if you want to get some of that training, hit us up, southeastsoftwash.com. You can check out the training tab there, and you can book coming down and visiting with us. We'll go through a about a five-hour classroom presentation and then we'll come out in the field and do something, uh, whatever I've got on the schedule. I try to always have a roof if I can. That doesn't always work out. We live in a really small town, so we kind of just have to take what we can get. But good project would be a $1,000 job, 1100 maybe 12 depending on. Now, some of you guys may be laughing and saying, man, that's a $4,000 job. It's not in Roanoke, Alabama. But that's why I hate the, hey, how do I price? Well, I can't tell you how to price, just like you can't tell me how to price because all the markets are always a, a, a lot different, very different. So this may be a, a much more expensive job where you're at, or it may be about, about the same. So if, I don't know if you guys can see this, uh, the steeple up here, right there, you see where it cleaned it, right where my finger's at. You got a big clean section right there. So that steeple, it doesn't have a whole bunch of lichens on it, so that one's gonna clean up really easy. So when we come back with a ladder, we'll be able to clean that steeple in just probably about 30 or 45 minutes or so, uh, complete start to finish, getting out of the truck to getting back in the truck. So, uh, easy to do. The Illumimax Pro makes jobs like this just absolutely cake. With a system like this, you can clean anything in the world, really, but where it really shines is residential, and commercial, um, light commercial, not great big, huge commercial jobs. But if you're gonna go do a bunch of residential stuff and uh, occasional strip malls and small warehouse type buildings, the Illumimax Pro is where it's at. So really proud of that unit. It makes jobs like this just go so quickly. So I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, help dad, we'll get finished up here and go eat some lunch. See you guys, hope you have a great day.